thank you, Amy, for sharing your amazing personal project with us. Um, next up, Moni will actually share her personal project with you. Um, it is a video essay on the envir environmental impact of fast fashion, and I hope you enjoy. Yeah, um, so I'll just play the video right now. I just did it because I thought it was an interesting topic that needs more awareness raised around it, so I thought a video would be it's a good method to share with you guys just what I learned throughout my research that I did. Um, but yeah, enjoy. Thank you. Fashion is an art form. It is a method to express yourself and your feelings beyond words. It can even be considered a universal language. Everybody deals with fashion on a day-to-day -day basis. There are people who wear luxury and hot couture brands only, and others who wear whatever they grab first from their closet. Regardless, the very great majority of the world wears clothes every single day. One significant characteristic of fashion is that it changes very quickly. Every season, new trends come in, changing which colors, patterns, textures, and shapes are considered to be okay to be used at the time being. There are fashion shows happening every few weeks setting the new trends. Keeping up with all the new styles is a hard task. These shows, of course, are for hot couture brands. So some companies recreate clothing considering the new trends in the moment and make them accessible for the general public. Every single week, these brands will release one micro season, setting the marker for what the newest trends are. Clothing brands who utilize this practice are referred to as fast fashion brands. In fast fashion, a need for new clothes every few weeks is created by the brand, promoting the sale of their clothing to be so high it can even be considered obscene. Fast fashion brands create a total of around 150 billion garments per year. With the amount of clothing the fast fashion industry makes, the impact of its industry is very big. It affects the oceans, the atmosphere, and land. Here are some more numbers to let this impact sink in. It takes 700 gallons of water to make a single shirt, and all of the wastewater is thrown back into the ocean. In fact, 20% of global wastewater comes from the fashion industry. 63% of clothes are made from petrochemicals such as nylon, polyester, rayon, and viscose generating greenhouse gas emissions through the processing of these petrochemical derivatives. Cotton is one of the most resource-intensive crops, requiring many fertilizers and pesticides, as well as large amounts of water. This causes a negative effect on land and soil. To put things into perspective, less than 1% of the world's cotton is organic. Those were a lot of numbers. So more simply said, the production of clothes requires massive amounts of resources and produces an unimaginable amount of greenhouse gas emissions. Carbon dioxide is emitted into the atmosphere at every single stage of the cycle of clothing. During the fiber production, oil is utilized. When the clothes are produced, chemicals are added to change the appearance of the textiles. As the garment is used, it is washed, and after use, it goes to landfills and is burned eventually. At all these stages, carbon dioxide is released, making the emissions of the fashion industry total to 120 billion tons of greenhouse gases. This total is greater to that of international flights and maritime shipping combined. Furthermore, of those 150 billion items of clothing, 30% are never even sold, and another 33% only leave the store with a discount. This shows a great issue with overproduction. The causes of this overproduction are based on human behavior. People will buy new items every time a collection comes out to be in fashion, and to either avoid judgment or to be appraised for their good looks. Since standardizing for clothing became a thing, it has become a social norm that people should dress according to trends and situations. The world's population has transformed the basic need of wearing clothes to protect our bodies into a privilege in which clothes are meant to be at par with a certain standard. Otherwise, a person is subject to be criticized for the lack of fashion sense. Another factor that contributes to this overproduction is the massive workforce behind it. Even though the conditions of clothing factories don't tend to be the greatest, Many people, mainly women, will continue to work in clothing factories at a need. The great majority of these factories are located in India, Myanmar, Bangladesh, and Vietnam. These countries are in an ideal location for fast fashion because there is a lack of environmental regulations set in place, as well as the index of poverty is very high, providing a large workforce. Now that you understand the threat that fashion poses to sustainability and climate change, what can you do about it? The biggest change you can do in your daily life is decrease your consumption of clothing from fast fashion brands. Ideally, people would stop buying clothes from fast fashion brands altogether. However, nobody's perfect, and even in specific situations you have no other option than buying clothing from these brands. Regardless, any effort is appreciated. If everyone thought to themselves, 
Do I really need another $5 shirt? Consumption would drop significantly and the demand would not even be as high. In the long term, these brands would reduce production and lessen their environmental impact. Most brands are also attempting to transition to greener methods that do not release as many greenhouse gases, such as using more organic fibers like hemp and bamboo. When brands make this change, it's good to support it by buying these items over regular ones. Providing a market for sustainably made clothes will encourage fast fashion brands to fully transition into the green movement. As mentioned before, fashion is a way of expression, or even a hobby or a job for many people. It is understandable why people feel the need to refresh their closets frequently. With this in mind, let's make the life cycle of clothing more sustainable. Donate or buy your old clothes and buy secondhand clothing from thrift stores. This way, you make the lifespan of clothing longer. If this happens, less clothing will go to landfills and you will also reduce consumption of new clothing coming from fast fashion brands, working towards a greener future.